A local farmer is speaking out about the freezing temperatures affecting the production of crops. News 10's Kai Price explains why it has been a challenging harvest season. LS4 co-owner Nicole Johnson says the cold weather and dry conditions have had a huge impact on the growth of crops. We did a lot to try to prepare for that by like applying mulch and hay um, and using uh, freeze coal to try to protect the crops that we had. But um, it absolutely affects the, um, the production of on a farm whenever you have extreme uh, weather conditions, whether it's high heat or extreme lows. Johnson has been a farmer for l s Farms for four years. l s Farms is part of a space called Earthshare Garden. She says throughout her few years of farming, she hasn't seen the cold kill crops like it did this season. We did lose some uh, lettuces and some beets because, you know, because of the extreme, uh, you know, cold weather. As far as our cash crops, we luckily have been able to, uh, you know, uh, protect them with the extreme weather. With the shift in temperatures on the way, Johnson says the warm weather and rain can help the crops grow back. With the temperatures kind of rising a little bit and, um, you know, us getting uh, the, the um, rain, I think that's going to allow a lot of farmers, a lot of growers, gardens to really start kind of perking up again. Johnson says while she is hopeful the cold weather will come to an end soon, she will still be on high alert for freezes later down the line. Even though um, we seem to have some light at the end of the tunnel at this very moment, there's still always the fear of um, a late freeze at the end of winter, beginning of the summer, uh, spring. So, um, fingers crossed.